And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Echo Zillion to be our very first Rise of the Underworlds deck. Patch 211 is here. We got a brand new format. We got a lot of new cards. It is a very exciting time to be playing Legends of Runeterra. And uh, we're going to have some new decks today. We're going to have uh, three decks with our new champions. Uh, Could have started with the Lurkers, but a lot of people in chat wanted to see Echo in action. And so we have two different Echo decks today. We're going to be playing Echo Zillion first, and then we're going to be playing Echo Vi afterwards, which they're going to be very, very similar Echo decks. Um, but I wanted to try Zillion first just because a lot of people want to see Echo with Zillion. But I, I kind of think that maybe it will end up being Echo will be better than Vi. But, you know, let's let's try some stuff out. And then and then in between, we'll be playing all of the new Lurkers. We'll have Rek'Sai and Pike together with some Lurkers. But back to our deck. Lots of new Predict cards. Um, this Fallen Feline looks incredible, making this Hexite Crystal. Very excited to play that card. We got Drop Order, which should be a pretty cool little 1-3 to be able to get. But yeah, lots of lots of new Predict cards to, to put together. Um, the goal here is to basically just be a control deck and uh, have the game go long and level up both of our champions. Because both champions can get a ton of card advantage when they're leveled up. Echo will be striking and creating these uh, zero-cost time tricks in hand, drawing more cards for us. Obviously, we know about Zillion when Zillion's leveled up how it uh, recopies everything that you just played in the previous round. So putting those two together, we should have a ton of card advantage. So let's go ahead and get to it. These could be some longer games. Uh, let's give it a try here with our first deck, Echo Zillion. These are going to be my first time playing the new format. It's going to be quite exciting. All right, first game, new format. We got Lucien LeBlanc. Is our first deck to face. Um, I mean, our hand looks pretty good. But we need to find removal spells, right, for Lucian LeBlanc. I think we're gonna, let's send the Chronomancer back. I'll keep Scrying Sands though. The Scrying Sands is the one that I'm not sure about. Like, I like going Zillion into Merciless Hunter. All right, so we got new emotes here. They're supposed to work well together. Mayhaps. Uh, let's see. I don't really want any of these. Ancient Hourglass is a maybe. I'd say, you know, like Ancient Hourglass can save Zillion if I if I want to save Zillion, but usually like letting Z like the first Zillion die is not the worst thing. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I am definitely, I am fine with trading Zillion for Sharp Sight. Making the dead deader. Give me that de death ray. Hmm. I want the death ray. What's up, Emthor? How's it going? It's going great. Definitely super excited about all these new cards and everything. And so far, this first game is looking pretty good for us. The best lies are beautiful. Um. 
This seems like a, a good matchup for us of just, you know, smaller, less health units. Seems like kind of what we want to, ha what we want to have. Play against units with less health. That seems good. Okay, they got to draw two. Time trick. I'm just gonna let this thing hit me twice. Man, all of all these options are great. I like them all. Can't go wrong. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drew. Tiana? Okay, I wasn't really exactly expecting that. Tiana gonna be big. I should, I should just play the Merciless Hunter. I should just play the Merciless Hunter. Could have saved myself three life. Should just play that the first time. So it could be at 12 instead of 9. That's pretty big. Real good to see you. Oh no. Wow, with might. Alright, well I'm at one. Well that's really cool. That's a cool level up animation. I like it. We okay, now. I guess they got me. All right, well I was feeling good about that until you know the Tianas. The Tianas are just too big for us. I I thought we were gonna have that though. Oh, before he did that, Kuma says now he plays Tiana number two. Don't don't do that, Kuma. Don't. <laughs> You're supposed to be like, no, my opponent has no Tiana number two. They'll never have anything good, right? You don't want to you don't want to give the opponent good cards. All right, so Karma Heimer. So they're both going to cost five. Heimer now is a two-four. I'm going to send all those back. That the two mana two-three predict. Maybe I should be keeping, but I, I feel like we just have a, a decent amount of cards that are just like that that I could send it back. And yeah, maybe find Fallen Feline or Zillion or something like that first. I want another Xenotype Researchers. This kind of matchup, we need a lot of card advantage. But the size that Xenotype Researchers gives us is also very useful. I'm not taking the, the two removal spells. It's either Xenotype or Skip. I'm going to do Xenotype. Rely on you to keep us safe. We 
each hold a world within. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. Alright, got, got some 3 3s to attack with. Definitely hope they don't have another spell here to get two draglings. That would be pretty bad for me. Zillion. They've had a good hand. Yeah, they had the they had the cat. And then that predict draw. Those are definitely cards I want to see. Don't care about these cards. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. <laughs> okay, that death ray unfortunately is the worst card for this matchup, right? Because we just can't take that card disadvantage that it provides. Bomb could be good. Yeah, they're living the dream. What do they discard for this card? Progress day? Yo, they're going real big if they're going progress day. Love it when they run. No, we're not playing Howling Abyss today. We'll we wanted to do we wanted to focus on the new champions today. For the first day, but I'm, I'll be playing plenty of Howling Abyss. It's my favorite card. Ooh, they got rid of Nopify, Deny, and Nopify. So this will put him down to six. I do want the Zillion to die. They're kind of killing it. Which would help out. I hope we don't draw that other death ray, but it's possible that we do, of course, but I hope we don't. They'll get this the draggling here. My plan is to scrying sands the draggling. Looks like we got two scrying sands. Okay, get an echo. I don't know if this means like so it says echo four out of five. I don't know if that means that the echo will be five out of five. Like right now with this prediction? Probably. So it's probably a leveled up Echo. I kind of want to take the Hourglass though. Is Hourglass is a way to get rid of the Zillion and I can play the new Zillion? No, it's Echo. It's definitely Echo. I got the Chrono Shift to protect Echo also. So yeah, so now it's 5 out of 5. And that was what I was thinking it would be. Wow. Taken. 
I want to play the Echo first, but open attacks looking pretty juicy too. I'll play an Echo first. Let's go, Echo. Yeah, I, I think having them having a deny is fairly likely. And of course, I want to play this because of this whole strike, create a fleeting time trick, right? That's why I want to play it. Man, that card's fast speed? That's pretty broken. That card is real broken. Okay, Chrono Shift, getting it done. Alright, there we go, Chrono Shift. Getting it done. One and one. They had a great hand, just didn't have either champion. And so they, they really just couldn't pull a hex, they just didn't have their champions. Diana Leona. Man, gotta love brand new format, right? Like we're playing like we've already played against three decks that you just don't see very much at all. Gotta love brand new format. Yeah, Echo's pretty cool. I'm liking Echo. Leona was ninja buffed? No, I don't know what the ninja buff is to Leona, no. No, I, I, I don't know what that means. Okay, level two Leona has overwhelm. Okay. It wasn't in the patch notes. Is it a bug? Or they just didn't put it in the patch notes. But it it's supposed to be a thing. Because yeah, I didn't I didn't know level two Leona had overwhelm. See, I ha I have the attack token on the even rounds. But let's see, I play Echo, they play Leona. Let's keep her Sorry, rise. Sup dude! With the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Yo, what's up, dude? <laughs> Thank you very much for that support. I appreciate that. Wait, we only get two cards. We only get two cards. Oh, right. We saw the prediction. The one three was in the prediction. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. I'm going to skip still. We can always rely on you to keep us so safe. I'm I'm not like taking the echo. Maybe I should be taking the echo, but I I kind of want the echo like in the deck, like that I give plus three plus three two. Maybe that's me being too too greedy. Yeah, you're kind of hoping that, like, you get to hit the drop border with the plus three, plus three, and turn it into a four, six, and then you get, like, the free four, six. Kind of hoping you get a little bit of that. Okay, so, yeah, so Leona was, like, chat, so it was shadow buffed, right? Like, we didn't know that Leona got buffed, but Beyond level two Leona now has Overwhelm. They just forgot to put it in the patch notes with all the other stuff coming in the patch notes. Clever. I like the open attack before a Leona. The dawn has arrived. The sun's splendor reveals. No, I meant to do the Preservarium. I want to do the Preservarium first, just kind of see what we drew. Alright, but now I guess we'll get time bombs in the deck first. So that works. Oh, there is a time bomb. There's also a time trick. I think you always take the time bomb though. Alright, well thank you so much, Subdude. Subdude said I found you on YouTube first. Love the videos. Here, take my prime and keep going with the good work. Thank you so much. Yeah, subbing with uh, Twitch Prime. That's very nice. Okay, so we're going to uh, be one time bomb away from leveling a zillion. Maybe Merciless Hunter, the Leona. All right, kind of checking what we got. May want to just maybe we kill the Robin. Who do we kill, or who do we attempt to kill, Leona or Robin, with this Merciless Hunter? I guess the answer is Leona, because that thing too big now. A shield for allies, a sword for enemies. 
Gonna find a gift for an Ecton. Right, Arda? Um, what do I recommend for, to a new player going into Rune Terra? I mean, and if anybody has in, in chat has any suggestions or anything like that, I would uh, always appreciate that for to help out help out our new player. I do have this link. This link's maybe a little old. I don't know, but that's from I, that was a Legends of Runeterra new player resource from Reddit a while ago. Don't touch that. Basically, yeah, you you kind of want to just you know find something you're comfortable with. As far as like what deck to play, like that that's you know kind of hard to answer, and you know you don't know like what kind of you know resources you get immediately and what what you can build immediately stuff like that um but yeah usually kind of staying with like when you're new to a game staying with like an aggro deck like an aggressive deck that doesn't really matter what your opponent's playing that's um always a good plan we'll get our licks in. see what i've learned i guess i'll keep selling back gaze into the light Back, unbeliever! Tower before our might. Alright, hoping I can death ray away the Robin. Mountain Scryer. We chart our path by the stars. Alright, so the plan is fallen feline and then preservarium. I guess it doesn't really matter that it's in that order. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Kind of want scrying sands because we have like the death ray two on top, and I don't know if I really want the death ray two. All right, well, we found the Hexite Crystal. Now, we still got to find one more Time Bomb for the Zillion. The power of the immortal sun. I am the bulwark against darkness. Bask in the light's radiance. Does the lab have new powers? I don't really want to get Ancient Preparations. I know it's another Predict card. It's a pretty bad Predict card, though. I'm going to skip. I'm going to hope we got a Time Bomb on top. Or I could just have this... I could just have this Zillion die right here. And then play New Zillion. New Zillion will be 0 out of 2 instead of 1 out of 2, but... We'll be able to put four more time bombs in the deck. And predict again. Uh, I'm just gonna take this guy. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. Champion spell. Call shot, draw one, create a parallel convergence in the deck. All right. I love it when things converge like that. Echo, you were supposed to be here tomorrow. You said that yesterday. Good one, Zill. High five, yeah. <laughs> Good one, Zill. Ours is the one true light. Glorious light rains down. All right, hoping they don't have hush. I do my own stunts. Ah, they did. No mercy for heretics. Well, so but not that. So, that's slow speed. That's lame. I can do both of these and save the echo. Does sound like a lot of resources though to save echo. But that's. That's probably worth it. Yeah, I guess it is. Echo is good. Yeah, Echo's Echo's worth saving. 
Pale Cascade doesn't do anything. Pale Cascade just makes this thing a 4-4. Four four. Still takes 4 damage. So you said that wasn't worth because the second echo is bad? The second echo is only bad if this first echo is not striking, right? But like if if this thing's striking, then I don't know. I I want I want some help in case of another. Do we see the do we see the invoke card that this mountain scryer made yet? Yeah, I want some help in case they have another hush. Because they're going to have to have another answer to this Echo. Because if they don't, I mean, these time tricks is pretty amazing. No time like the present. Move it. Bless the faithful and behold the sun's holy light. Dragons are always really tough to deal with, with these two regions. This is a really, really bad card for me to see because you know, it's just going to make them more dragons. I do not like seeing those dragons. Casting this mystic shot to try to kill the Leona. Try to keep the fallen feline alive. I'm gonna just hold on to it. Possible I should be. Of course I need to like open attack before they start stunning stuff, all that kind of stuff, before they played a better blocker. Alright, we got another time trick. Can look for another time bomb with the time trick. And then if we are able to do that, then we can level up Zillion, and then with leveled up Zillion, then like the Mystic Shock becomes even better because we get like the two Mystic Shots. Oh no! Yeah, I don't. What am I doing to that thing? Where did this come from? Eclipse Dragon created that? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'd need to be playing Quicksand for that because yeah, I have, I have no answer to that thing. I got. I got nothing. not perfect but look if your prediction is correct we have much to look forward to GG Targon. Okay, one and two. All right. That's the last time that I have to... Like, with pairing with Zillion, I think you need removal spells for big things, right? And, and uh, you either have to have, like, a real fast clock or you have removal stuff for big things. And I think that, like, yeah. I think, like, with these two regions, it's tough to have the removal for big things. So, like, Zillion kind of needs to be with a different region. That's what it feels like. Trundle Karma? This deck's probably great. Yeah, could go Kahiri Siphoning Strike. Maybe that is the way to go. 
you know, playing Kahir in a deck like this, you can you can get a large unit and then, you know, Siphoning Strike will help out. Oh my gosh, it didn't just attack because I was talking. Yeah, that could be the way to go. I do not want any of those. Okay, Death Ray, Drop Order. These are the worst cards for us to draw. Catalyst of Aeons. Well, those are one of the worst cards for us to see. Come on, cat. We got a cozy home for you. So they can't avalanche right now. By like playing getting this echo and Yeah, I'm only playing two drop orders. It's gonna be much better against aggro. The whole, you know, death ray drop order part of my deck is gonna be very good against aggro, but um, these kind of matchups and some of the matchups that we've been having. Not so good. Oh man, that's a lot of ramp. Aftershock can be useful. I wanted to try to level up the Echo. Yeah, I didn't play the Fallen Feline, but I wanted to level up the Echo before... Um, which I guess I take Time Bomb over Preservarium. I want to try to level up that Echo before they play an Avalanche right here. So because they played that, they can't play the the twelve mana spells. So that's great. I was really worried about Field of Rush. They could still, of course, have deny. Nope, no deny. Nothing escapes my watch. We're not that close to ending this game. They're at 16. We're not... You know, it seems like we're, we've dealt a lot of damage. They've healed their Nexus for 9, and we're not attacking for a lot with these 1 power things. TK, it's going great. It's going great. How are you doing? Let's talk about your tab. Absolutely loving all these new cards and new patch and everything like that. Okay, so there's that thing. Alright, first we're gonna shoot that for one. So it dies also. Alright, I'm very happy with that. The main question is like, do I play this fallen feline? Okay, not quite as happy with that one. I don't want to play this Fallen Feline. I guess so. Mm. Yeah. Just out of Took a few timelines, but okay, now, right? Oh, hi. I remember. New Echo. Alright, so Parallel Convergence is the start of free attack with that. Okay. I could see playing this just called shot and just drawing a card.
Because what I want to draw, because we have the three Chrono Shifts in the deck. And I kind of want to draw one of these Chrono Shifts. Card. Wow. That's some good re hand refilling right there. Yeah, like this Chrono Break does seem like it could be pretty good. It's hard not to take the Time Bomb, though. We still have three Chrono Breaks in there. Now, when am I? When am I? We love it when they run! Nice day, if you're into coughing. So we know they have three spells out of the four cards. Of course, they'll block that. This isn't killing them. But puts them down to one. I have this crystal. We have to do another time trick. Man, Echo can do some really cool stuff. We'll take that Chrono Break in case they kill a bunch of allies. Okay. Okay. This is coming together. We also have... Oh, no! Because I was going to say, we had, like, the Time Bomb lethal, right? Because the Time Bomb was going to do damage that you can't really stomp. Just as I thought. GG's. Okay, playing against some Lurkers for the very first time. This is my first time seeing Lurkers in action. We're about to play Lurkers up next. That's gone. Okay, so both of these... Oh, no, no, so that thing's huge. Pike dies to Gotcha. I'm not sure if I want to keep Gotcha in the opener. Kind of want to find some like other early cards to play before round three. Kind of spooked me. Mr. Shot's good. Yeah, this card back is pretty sick. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. So we got the new card back, the new board. We're going to be using both of those up next with our Lurker deck. Gotta find a gift for Renekton. Ryarda. Hmm. I guess I just block this. It, yeah, I'm just gonna block this. It just uses my mana so much better with having these different hunters and stuff. And of course I want to get this in play as early as possible. These merciless hunters. Things aren't going to improve themselves. Head and 
Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Man, this 5-6 Chronomancer is awesome, but I also want to just take the gotcha, right? Like, this is a perfect time. Oh, no, 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 because we're about to draw the card. So, yeah, no, no, never mind. We'll leave the gotcha in there. Alright, we'll just take the Chronomancer. Ooh, that's good. That's going to help protect um, Echo. Kill some lurkers. Alright, so I either protect um, Echo or I play this 5 6 and then like kill their lurker whenever they attack with that. But of course, I guess I could just have the lurker challenge. I guess that's true. They just put have the lurker challenge, and then the minus two minus zero doesn't work. We always rely on you to keep us safe. It can be undone. Don't touch it. That's also true. I could have just done the time trick. Right, because it was going to strike. Maybe that would have been my best option. I don't know. I kind of want to just draw cards. Where's my card draw? I want to draw cards or find my champions. Six power. Nothing's too big. I guess I should be casting the Scrying Sands right now also, because the Scrying Sands isn't doing anything. Otherwise. We love it when they run. Alright, they're down to four. Three of these are good. Like these are the cards that I want to be drawing. I'm gonna take the time trick. I wanted to play that card while they had the enemy still before I blocked and killed it. So I want to make sure that my next draw step was a very good card. There we go. That'll do. All right, Merciless Hunters, finish the job. Okay, respectable three and two. Still saw that we did struggle against some of the top end stuff. Our two losses were to Tiana <laughs> and Overwhelm Tiana. And then uh, then Celestials, right? Especially Overwhelm and Elusive Celestial. So, you know, like the Overwhelm, the Elusive, like those kind of things. We did see that we could struggle with that. So we're going to have another Echo deck here in just a little bit. We're going to be playing Echo Vi after our Lurkers um, deck to try that out also. This Feline card is incredible. <laughs> I think that card was very good. Drop Border didn't look that great. Um, but, but we didn't face like too many of like the super fast aggro. But it didn't, it didn't look that great. 
Time Trick looked incredible, and just Echo and Time Trick and stuff, that looked very good. So there we go, that's that's our deck here, Echo Zillion. Um, another option, as we, t as we were talking about, so, so to maybe help you out against like some of the, the top end things, maybe a thing to do, instead of playing Xenotype Researchers, um, and you know we're trying to get some size with the Xenotype Researchers, but the other option is to play um, Kahiri, and I, I really do think that Kahiri is, is just fine. Honestly, you maybe don't need like all three of them, but you know, like maybe playing like a couple copies of Kahiri because you know, like this thing turning into like a 6 6 or an 8 8, um, you know, then then it's like a you know, like a it can actually match up against the larger stuff for you. And you could try Kahiri with Siphoning Strike and use those two together to be some removal for some larger things. But yeah, Kahiri, I think, is is honestly could be a real card. And I could, I could definitely see just playing three, you know, even just playing three Kahiris instead of Xenotype Researchers. Um, I could see doing that. All right, anyway, and you know, maybe even over some of the drop borders, like maybe that's where you get like the combination of Siphoning Strike, Kahiri is drop border, Xenotype. I could see that, definitely. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What do you want to see with these this new format, Patch 211? What kind of decks do y'all want me to, to play um, over this next week? Um, let me know. Love to hear those suggestions. But that's going to be it here for Echo Zillion. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.